Hello and welcome to another Homebrew Wednesday. So now that summer's finally here, I thought what better thing to do than to start some cider. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, just before we get started on the cider, I'll just show you my homebrew keg here, which contains the Geordie homebrew that we made in the last Homebrew Wednesday video. And that's been siphoned off out of the main fermentation uh, bucket into my homebrew keg here. And that should be nice in a couple of weeks time when it's had a chance to do the secondary fermentation. Okay, let's get cracking with the cider. To get started on the cider, I've got five litres of pure apple juice, uh, the cheapest I could get hold of basically, and I've thrown in some apple and mango juice uh, for a second batch to just try something different and see how that comes out. We've also got 150 grams of sugar, some cider yeast, and some yeast nutrients, and an empty demijohn. Okay, now the first thing we'll need to do is melt the sugar in some of the apple juice. I will just do that now. Okay, so I've got half a litre of the apple juice uh, in a saucepan, just warming up. Uh, so we'll put the sugar in. Okay, there's the sugar. Now I've just sterilised this plastic stirring spoon. I'll just gently mix that in. Just turn that down a bit so it doesn't get too hot. Okay, it looks like the sugar's mixed in. So I'll turn that off, leave that to cool down, and then we'll move on to the demijohn. Okay, so for the cider, I've decided to add uh, a mug of strong uh, tea. Uh, that should add some tannin to give it a little bit more body. Uh, you won't actually taste the tea, uh, but it should make the cider uh, it tastes better. You don't have to add it. I just thought I'd do that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it wouldn't be a homebrew Wednesday without indulging in a little touch of homebrew. Uh, so I've just cracked open one of my milestone green men uh, that I made a few months back. Just pour that in. Probably was a bit of a mistake doing it one handed. Well, it's certainly got a pretty decent head on there now. I think I'll just pause this while I get my other hand involved. Okay, and there we go. That looks like a pretty nice pint of my uh, golden green man ale. And the only thing is, all that to light, it's, uh, it's probably clearer than it looks in camera. 
uh, but um, I think you'll find you'll tell me that's pretty acceptable. Anyway, cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Let's crack on. Okay, so here's our empty demijohn. I've got the apple juice heated up earlier with the sugar. I've got the apple juice and the tea. Okay, so just get the apple juice. Pull that into the demijohn. Okay, this is going to take a minute, so I'll just speed this up a little bit. Just put the last litre into here with the sugar mix. Okay, here's our cup of tea. And with that, okay. And the whole lot goes in. Okay, so that's our basic ingredients. All we need to do is throw the yeast and the yeast nutrient, and for now we're done. Okay, so here we are. So we've got one demijohn of the pure apple juice, strong cup of tea, 150 grams of sugar, and we've got the second demijohn full with apple and mango juice from concentrate uh, no tea in that one so we'll see how that goes that might even be uh, the best idea i've had or maybe the worst idea i've had but we'll see uh, i've read that you don't need new a yeast nutrient so i shall be leaving that out and we'll just be putting in the yeast so just take the bung off of those oh and wreck the place and I've got the yeast here I'll just put that in and the yeast into the second one remainder there a bit more in that one 
Okay, that's it. I'll give those both a little bit of a shake up and then we'll come back to them in 24 hours and we'll hopefully see them all buzzing off nicely or bubbling away. Uh, I think that'll be in the next video. But um, there it is.